When I was pitching my channel online weeks ago, it was suggested to me that I could make a video about safakas. Since I like to be more specific than that, I decided to make a video about a specific species of safaka, specifically Varro's safaka. A safaka is any lemur of the genus Prophythicus. To my knowledge, it is not represented in popular media. Even the film Madagascar lacks the name safaka character. Safakas are powerfully built lemurs with long, human-like legs and large, pincer-like feet that let them leap for long distances. They can be distinguished from the injury by their much longer tail, and Varro's safaka can be distinguished from other safakas by their thicker-featured face and fur that is mainly white. Both sexes weigh about 8 pounds and are the same height. Varro safaka has one of the shortest arm-to-leg ratios of any lemur, with arms only 60% the length of their legs. In comparison, humans have arms around 70% the length of their legs. The safaka's hind legs are huge on their own, roughly as long as a human's relative to the trunk, and end in disproportionately large feet. Like most prosimians, the forearm is significantly longer than the upper arm. In the trees, safakas are powerful and accurate leapers, able to propel themselves across huge gaps in the canopy by jumping. They use a vertical leaping plane, but prefer to land hands first, as opposed to with all four limbs outstretched the way other primates such as bush babies do. Once they land hands first, they flex their spine forward and shove off with their hind legs again. I drew a crude and not at all to scale diagram up on the screen to show you the steps of a safaka's leap. Because a safaka's legs are so long, it cannot walk on all fours, and it comes equipped with an anteriorly placed foramen magnum, much like a terrestrial biped such as a human or a kangaroo. However, it cannot properly walk upright because its ankle structure means its foot cannot lay flat on the ground. Thus, when on the ground, it, hops, it moves in a hopping motion. Burrows safakas are versatile herbivores that feed on a wide variety of plant components, including bark, flowers, fruit, and leaves. They are not specialized for any particular one of these sources, but they are known to be the only lemur that can leap between trees in Madagascar's spiny forests without injury. How they can do this is still being researched, but it may have to do with exceptionally strong pads on their front paws. Lemurs have relatively dense neurons, nearly as dense as higher primates. However, their brains tend to be much smaller than simian primates in absolute terms. A look at the skull of a safaka compared to other injured lemurs finds that the Varro safakas has a long brain case. Like all lemurs, the olfactory processing region of the brain is far larger than simian primates. This is because olfactory communication is important among lemurs. Just like a human's armpits get stinky, lemurs have a number of glands that secrete in response to emotive states, and the safaka is no exception. The male Varos Safaka sometimes has very well-developed slight glands on his neck that produce a strong odor females seem to like. He may rub them on his chest to appear more attractive. Varos Safakas are generally promiscuous and live in a troop where the females dominate the males. This is common among lemurs. Males with smellier chests have higher status because females are more likely to cooperate with them, while female status is determined mainly by seniority and strength. Males may goof around with each other and females well into adulthood to help present themselves as harmless. Safakas, including Varro's safaka, are rather widespread, at least on the island they call home, which is Madagascar, of course. However, they are threatened virtually everywhere in their range. Threats include agriculture and poaching for the pet trade. If you've seen my video on the pet trade, you'll know that is not a happy place to be. There exists a charity network called the Lemur Conservation Network. It allows you to find a charity to support individual species of lemur, including the Varro's safaka. Charities include GERP, which is a French acronym I would butcher if I tried to say, and the Aspinall Foundation. Each charity helps protect multiple species of lemur, so if you support one species, you can support many more.